Thank you for your interest in the Maternal and Child Health Certificate Program at Emory, Emory's Rollins School of Public Health. My name is Lauren Christensen Lindquist, and I'm the Deputy Director for our Maternal and Child Health Center of Excellence in Education, Science, and Practice, which is part of the Women's and Children's Center. So many people wonder, well, what is maternal and child health? What we really do is we aim to improve the health of women, children, and families, and we have both a domestic and an international focus here at Emory. And what we're really interested in thinking about is health from a life course perspective. So thinking about pregnancy and perinatal and infant health outcomes, but also what happens in child health and adolescent health, and thinking about women's health separate from pregnancy and lactation. So our certificate program is open to um, MPH and MSPH students who are enrolled either full-time in a four-semester program or part-time. Um, they must be in a de degree-seeking program at RSPH. So the certificate program is interdisciplinary. So we take students across all of the departments at RSPH, and that really helps to enrich the experience by drawing from the skills that your colleagues are learning in their home departments. We follow the maternal and child health leadership competencies, and if you're interested in looking at those, you can click on the link here. Um, but these competencies really helped us to formulate what we wanted the curriculum to be to ensure that our graduates um, are competent in each of these important areas for maternal and child health. So I want to tell you a little bit about our program requirements for the certificate. We have four core classes that our students are required to take, the first of which is the Foundations of Maternal and Child Health. And this course takes place in the spring of the first year. So this allows students to have an opportunity to have one semester to get your feet wet in graduate school before you begin coursework in the certificate program. The second required course is our Introduction to Healthcare Management, which can be taken in the fall of any year. Students who have prior management experience can submit a waiver to be, uh, can request a waiver for this course, um, and details about that are available on our website. We also have a Maternal and Child Health Collaborative Leadership Seminar. This takes place in the fall of our second year, um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a few slides. Another special course that we have, which is very unique to our program, is the Overview of Children with Special Health Care Needs course. This happens in the spring of our second year, and I'll tell you a little bit about this in a moment as well. Our students also have, so beyond these core courses, an opportunity to really tailor their experience to their specific interests. So here's where our electives come in. Students must choose one methods course, and that can be either quantitative or qualitative as well as a life course elective. So thinking about those different areas that I mentioned earlier, from pregnancy all the way up through um, child, adolescent health, and women's health, students can choose a course that focuses on one of these different areas. Students must also um, complete an MCH-related practicum, as well as an MCH-related culminating experience. Now we know that this might not always be possible for our HPM students, and so if an HPM student's capstone is not MCH related, they can take an additional four credit hours of electives. So I want to tell you a little bit more about some of the unique features of three of our core classes. The first of that MCH Foundations course, which is the first course that our students have together as part of the Maternal and Child Health Certificate Program. This class has both lecture and hands-on components. Um, and one of our favorite things about this class is that our students partner with an MCH agency. This course is co-taught by four faculty from different departments across the school, and each faculty member has identified a maternal and child health agency that has a real world, world public health problem that they need help solving. So students work in interdisciplinary teams of four to five students closely with their faculty mentor and the MCH agency representative to solve whatever the problem is that they have presented to them. And then um, at the end of the semester, the students present their findings to the agency um, as part of their final project. And it's really exciting to see these projects from start to finish and really work through um, a problem that's facing public health today. Another one of our unique courses in the Maternal and Child Health Certificate Program is our MCH Collaborative Leadership Seminar. This is in partnership with the Georgia LEND Program as well as the Morehouse School of Medicine Satcher Health Leadership Institute. So these are seminars that meet um, every other week during the fall of the second year. And the goal is to prepare the next generation of health leaders 
to provide better care to the diverse MCH populations that we serve. And we do this through these four C's. The care needs to be more coordinated, comprehensive, and culturally competent. Um, so our students team up with learners from these other programs, and it's an opportunity for students to come together with individuals who they might not otherwise come in contact with, but to learn some really important leadership skills that are important for success in maternal and child health. The final course that I want to tell you a little bit more about is our overview of children with special health care needs. This too is a mixture of lecture and experiential learning, and what's particularly unique about this course is that each student is paired with a family who has a child that has special health care needs. So they have an opportunity to learn about both the challenges as well as the opportunities that these families have. And so it may be learning about what it's like to navigate the healthcare system from their perspective, but they might also attend something like a cheerleading practice to learn how that child integrates in the community. So this is a really unique opportunity that we often don't have in public health because we typically think about things from a population perspective. We think it's really important that our students understand the day-to-day -day struggles and opportunities that families have when they have a child with special health care needs. So our program goals, we really want to develop well-rounded leaders in maternal and child health. So we're looking for applicants who are really interested in being leaders in this area. And we want to prepare our students for positions in wide-ranging um, areas. So both governmental and non-governmental health organizations, but also working at the local, regional, national, and international levels. Applicants who are interested in the Maternal and Child Health Certificate Program should apply at the same time as they're applying to the Rollins School of Public Health. So we review our certificate program applications at the same time as the departments are reviewing theirs. If you're interested in applying, you must note an interest in the MCH certificate program on your SOFIS application, and you will receive a supplementary application by email. Students who are not eligible for our fellowships, which I'll tell you about in just a moment, will be notified of their decision by mid to late March. We do have fellowships available thanks to funding that we receive from the Health Resources and Services Administration, and these are available to students from underrepresented minorities. Just as students indicate their interest in the Maternal and Child Health Certificate Program in their SOFIS application, um, eligibility for these fellowships is determined using information that you provide in your SOFIS application. So please be sure to um, answer the questions that describe yourself fully. Our award package includes $30,800 in tuition support, as well as a real position, which allows students to um, work while they are learning. If you're interested in learning more about that program, you can click the link that's available there. Students receive $2,000 um, towards their practicum. So not all practicum positions are paid. And so we hope that this allows students to take um, a position that they might be interested in, um, even if funding for that position is not available. We also have conference travel funds that our fellows can compete for. So successful applicants will be notified of their decision um, by the end of February um, if they are eligible for a fellowship. Now, we, um, this certificate program is limited to 20 students, and the reason for this is the intensive nature of the program and the fact that we have um, four faculty who work very closely with our students in the MCH Foundations course on those projects that I mentioned. However, there are a number of opportunities to be involved in maternal and child health at the Rollins School of Public Health, even if you're not enrolled in the MCH certificate program. So we do hold monthly journal clubs, which are open to anyone to attend. We will also have faculty and community partner seminars where you can learn about what our faculty as well as our community partners are doing um, in the MCH world. All of the MCH elective courses um, are available to students who are not enrolled in the program. So if those are interest, of interest to you, please be sure to take a look at those. Um, and MCH practicum and culminating experiences are also available to everyone. So if you have an interest in this, please um, see our listing of affiliated faculty and reach out to them to see if they might have a project that would be suitable. Our MCH graduates are joining a network of like-minded professionals. Here we have featured some of our um, alumni as well as some of our current students. We're really proud of the work that they have done and are doing, and we know that um, they are going to go on to do great things and be great leaders in our field.
So if you have additional questions about our certificate program, you are welcome to contact Teresa Parker, who is our NCH program coordinator, um, or myself, and we will um, do our best to help you out and get the answers that you need. Thanks for your time, and we hope to see you at Rollins.